Hey guys, Jay right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cross Out. Hope you guys are doing well. As you guys saw, I finally crafted my first relic weapon. Look at this beauty. It is the Jormungandr. Now, I already have relics in my inventory. As you guys might know, I have two scorpions and two mastodons. I sold my, almost my whole inventory twice. Not everything, almost everything. Twice to get these two relics. But now, since I'm doing a lot more clan wars and I got premium, I was able to craft my first relic ever. And according to my calculations, I can craft two more relics this year with the premium. And if I keep doing my clan wars, so I might get two more of these and sell one later to get a flash. I don't know, but we'll see what I do. But as you guys might know, using one relic is kind of tricky. Now, the problem I got right now is I only have one year man gander. So the best thing I can run it with right now is a Nidhogg. Now, it works out okay. The, the Yurman Ganner has a slightly longer range than the Nidhogg. The Nidhogg has pretty low range, a bigger spread, and it just it just doesn't feel right. The Yurman Ganner just feels amazing. Now, for the optimal damage, you want one Yurman Ganner and two Nidhoggs. But in combat situations, if you just run three Nidhoggs, I think you're better off. Just because uh, the extra range, the durability, and just the... the the, the accuracy of the Jormungandr's, I think is just the safest bet or safest way to go. Now, again, I only have one of these, so I thought, how can I make my Jormungandr survive for the entirety of the match? So, this is what I did. I put a Averter under the Jormungandr, which gives us 30% more damage resistance. But that's not all. I have the reload module in front of it with a durability of 323, which is pretty beefy. And then I got the Ermac Cabal, which also gives us 30% more damage resistance upon receiving damage. So a total of 60% damage resistance. That's pretty good. That's pretty insane. You'll see in these clips that the Jorman Gander does not fall off. But that's not all, guys. Uh, this, this build is equipped with modules. I also have an Aegis Shield here just to protect us from like Snipe, Scorpions, Cannon Shot, just in case. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the Nidhogg isn't really that protected. It's just on the buggy floor here. Nothing really special down there. But, yeah, this is the build I'm going to try to run for the next couple of weeks just to get a feel for the Yeoman Gander. And I think it's pretty solid. I have had some pretty fun games, but, you know, only two weapons is kind of tricky. We are at almost 10k par score as well. Not a lot of durability. So this is the build we're going to run today. Now, without any further ado, Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Well, before you do that, I have two more things. Almost at 11k subs, so please subscribe if you're new. Hit the like and leave a comment. That stuff helps me out. And what kind of relic would you craft if you had the chance to craft a relic? I know the Jorman Ganner isn't the most popular relic out there, but I just love this weapon ever since it came out. So, uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, welcome to the East Quarter. Looks like we already got someone over here. It is good old Mary. Oh, fire dog. Now we got Robert coming in. Good, good, good. We got another two more targets, one left, one right. And as you guys can see, I'm shooting quite long. That's because, you know, only one Jormungandr and one Nidhogg. If I had, like, maybe two more Jormungandrs or two Jormungandrs and one Nidhogg, you know, things would be a lot faster. I do, I know it's not a popular thing to say, like, buff something, but I do wish the Jormungandr did a little bit more damage. I mean, for a relic weapon that got, like, 30,000 coins... Uh, the uh, performance is kind of lagging damage wise. Now, usually, German Ganders or Nidhogg type weapons are really good against fire dogs, and I think I'm proving that right here as well. Beautiful. That guy got taken care of super quick. 
Uh, my generator's on fire, which is not that great. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, oh, the instructor. Get his trigger to get his trigger. Ah, nice. We got it. We got it. We got it. I get this guy next. No. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't hit him. I should have just drove around him. All right, guys. Welcome to the crater. Let's quickly go take care of the bots while taking cover at the same time from the enemy. There we go. Come on. Man, I can't wait to use like three Jormunganders. Something that I've also seen in Clan Wars is two Jormunganders and a Flash. I think that... Whoa, we messed them up. I think that setup might also be a lot of fun. Oh, it's a Porker. Do we have the range? No. Okay, we gotta move in a little bit closer. We gotta watch out for that missile build. I might go for the missile build first though, since he's quite annoying. It. That's not good. Oh yeah, my my stuff is kind of dragging on the ground, so that's why. Ooh, that's why my build isn't like super mobile. Well, not mobile, but like you know, sometimes my build gets stuck. Oh, it's probably behind me now. Good stuff, dude. Ah, I'm doing a wheelie. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah. Oh. All right, guys. Welcome to the bridge. Oh, we got Andy coming in. Let's take care of Andy while in the cover. There we go. Oh, we got Emily as well, and we got Ryan. Oh my god, everybody's pushing up. Oh, oh, we need some help here, boys. Someone pushed up, and he did not notice me, so that's good. Gonna pin this guy down. Uh, there we go, beautiful. A missile build on the ground here. There he is, old moose. Wait, what? There we go. Gonna, oh, we can't hit that gas tank. Otherwise, we're pretty much there. We go. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, Emily left on our cap. Let's go get him. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, guys. Welcome to the fortress. Uh, let's see here. We got two players to the right. We might be able to take them down. Oh, no. It's three now. Oof. Nah. Let's go for Charlie. There's someone on our cab. Let's ult them. Let's go for him first and then move on to another, uh, the next target. Got attacked by oh he's going for Charlie alone. Oh no, never mind. Got target over here. Beautiful. Now let's go for that guy who went to Charlie alone. I think he left. Oh there he is. It is a fire incinerator belt. Oh look at his beautiful fire. Oh this fuel tank was so like hit me in the ass. Alright, beautiful. We got one more Carmen Camilo. 
Porker. Oh, that's not good. Got him though. We got him. We got him. His forks were only facing one side. That's fine, dude. It's fine. Thank you. Oh, never mind. Well, guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can't wait to get one more Jorman Gander, at least one. And then I'll run two with a Nidhogg. I think that could work out in some kind of KTM build. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.